Right, so hello and welcome back to Books and Things and welcome to another video and welcome to my reading vlog for Once Upon a River by Diane Zetfield. So I am currently hosting a read-along of this book or by the time you see this video I will have just finished hosting a read-along of this book um, and I thought I would vlog my reading or rereading experience with this book. This is one of my favourite books, this is one of my favourite authors and I'm very excited to reread it. We're reading about 25 to 30 pages a day so I will get straight in and read the first 26 pages now. the first couple of chapters of Once Upon a River. Um, I think this book has a really like atmospheric, dramatic opening. Um, I just think it's wonderful. I really love the like, I don't know, just the two figures crashing through this inn of stories. And I love the like the, everything that Diane Sisford has to say about the river and the various different inns upon it. Um, and how this inn is the inn where people come to tell stories and then suddenly everyone ends up in this story, this fairy tale of their own. Um, and I just, I just think it's really great. I also just love Diane Sedfield's writing. Like I feel like there are a few people who write as beautifully as her, but where the beauty of the writing like never gets in the way of the story. Um, and all the characters just feel like so real. Like already in the first like two, three chapters, we've been introduced to so many characters but somehow they're all like super vivid and I just love that. So yes, very much enjoying this so far and I'll check in again tomorrow. So I've just read today's chapters of Once Upon a River. I'm now up to page 55 and I'm just really, really enjoying this reread so far. It's so nice to reread it. I love how Diane Setterfield writes and there's something really nice about reading this book a bit slower as well because the first time I read it, I read it in like one day, um, in just a few hours. I sped through it so it's really nice to read it a little bit slower and just to take it in. One of the things I really love about Once Upon a River is how many characters they are and how they all weave together so it's really fun like seeing the beginnings of all of their stories and um, knowing where they go. So yeah just really enjoying it so far and um, looking forward to reading on tomorrow. just read today's chapters of Once Upon a River so we've just um, got to the end of the flashback um, about uh, what everything that happened on the day before and now we're going back into the current timeline um, so I'm just really really enjoying rereading this one it's a really nice one to reread I think partly because there are so many characters like it's really good to discover them a bit more slowly um, and kind of remember them um, and there are bits and pieces where I started reading a chapter and something like, oh, I remember what happens at the end of this character storyline. So that's quite fun too. Yeah, just really enjoying it so far. So many great characters and such wonderful writing. So yeah, just keep reading. Really, really loving it again so far. It's Thursday the 18th of February and I've just been reading today's chapters off Once Upon a River which I'm just absolutely loving. It's so nice to reread it. Um, it's so nice to like see the things I'd forgotten about and also there are bits of it that it's just like amazing to reread knowing the ending. Um, so like in the section I've just read I really enjoyed um, like the conversation and dialogue between um, the little boy Ben and Mr Armstrong. I kind of forgot about Ben. Um, and actually I really enjoyed their conversation. And then also reading passages about Mr Vaughan, like I now know like the secrets and the ending of Mr Vaughan's story, which obviously I didn't the first time I was reading it and actually like knowing what happens later and knowing what happened in the past that you don't find out until later and reading his sections is just like absolutely heartbreaking. It's just so amazing actually. It's just amazing to reread it. It's so good. I'm very, I'm very ex much enjoying this. <laughs> it's just, yeah. So excellent, so beautifully written, so powerful and emotional where I'm like, yeah, reading everything that Mr. Vaughan is thinking with tears in my eyes because I know, I know the mystery. Um, but yeah, so good. Anyway, I will carry on reading and check in again tomorrow. I've just 
just finished reading today's chapters of Once Upon a River, um, which I am still really, really enjoying. It's really nice to reread it. I love like the storytelling fairy tale vibe of it and all the stories that are quietly. I just find really, really interesting. I feel like there's so much like richness and little details in this book, which are fantastic. So I'm now just up to the end of part two and looking forward to carrying on with the rest and I will check in again soon. It is Sunday the 21st of February and I've just been reading on with Once Upon a River. Um, I missed the chapters yesterday. I was caught up with reading other books um, but I've read the chapters today um, and just really enjoyed them. There is so much I love about Once Upon a River. I'd forgotten how much I love Rita Sunday um, and how interesting the Armstrongs and the Vaughans are as families. Like there's just so many intriguing characters in Once Upon a River and I feel like it's just one of those books where every little new twist and turn in the plot is just fascinating. So yeah entirely enjoying this one again so far um, and looking forward to carrying on and reading a bit more of it tomorrow finished today's chapters of Once Upon a River which are very dramatic. Um, Robert Armstrong has um, come back and seemingly claimed um, the little girl as his own Alice rather than as Amelia um, and everything's gonna go on from that. It's such a good book. I really love all the twists and turns of it and all the kind of debate about who this little girl is, Amelia, Anne, Alice, all her different names and like how everyone kind of wants to claim her. It's so it's so good and so interesting, so intriguing and I love all the history behind it and all of the interesting characters and just yeah, it's so good. It's so good and it's so nice to reread it um, and just rediscover it all over again because I just love it so much. Yeah, not much else to say apart from that but I will check in again tomorrow. So it's Thursday the 25th of February and I've just finished reading today's chapters of Once Upon a River which were very amazing, very good chapters today. So we had Henry Vaughan telling his story to Mrs Constantine which yeah, I think is one of the most like powerful scenes in the book. It's so sad and I have to say that like rereading the story this time and knowing um, the truth and everything that Henry Vaughan knows which his wife doesn't know all the way through is very very sad. Um, and then we also have um, a chapter of Rita and Mr Daunt going to um, the Armstrong farm and Mr Armstrong telling us a bit about his life, which is really powerful and interesting as well. And he's one of my favourite characters. Um, I think him and Rita probably are my favourite, so I really enjoyed that chapter too. I just, yeah, such a great book. So thoroughly enjoying this. And we're getting near the end now, so very exciting. Yeah, so enjoyable. So thoroughly enjoyable. Anyway, I'm not going to say anything else for now, um, but I will check in again tomorrow. It is Friday the 26th of February and I have just finished reading Once Upon a River two days early. Um, I jumped ahead today and read on with the last few sections just because I was so enjoying it and the ending is just so good um, and compelling and I just wanted to keep reading and run on to the end and I just, yeah, really, really thoroughly enjoyed this. This was such a great book and such a lovely one to reread. Just reminding me all the reasons why I love it and I feel like I loved it even more the second time. Like there were so many amazing passages in here, so many fantastic characters. I love the ending. Like there were little bits and pieces that I remembered and stuff that I, I had forgotten um, that came out later in the end that it was just really, really lovely. And um, like I kind of forgotten what happened to Alice and just like that bit at the end I just really, really love. Um, I remember that Ben came back but I couldn't remember like the context of it and it was just, oh, it was just so good. And I, yeah, Rita and um, Daunt, I love them. I love the Armstrongs. I love Margot and everyone at the Swan. And I just, just really love this book a lot. And I love the storytelling. I love the ending and the kind of like narrative voice going throughout and how that all wraps up at the end. And it's just, yeah, just a marvellous, marvellous book. One thing I feel like I should, I should mention and encourage people to mention below is what do you think about the little girl? Anne Amelia, um, Alice, whatever you wish to call her, none of those names in fact. Um, who do you think she is? I feel like the book has an interesting ending where um, 
there is, you know, it's set up that she could be quite at least child, that she is a supernatural girl, sort of ghost child, um, who's gone back to the river from when she came. But then there is also the suggestion that she is the child of a traveller family um, who accidentally left her behind, um, who thought she was dead and then found her again and she went away with them. Um, so you have these kind of two, like, possible endings to Once Upon a River and possible explanations, um, the supernatural and the rational. Um, and I find it quite fun because I feel like the first time I read it, I was leaning towards the rational and this time I feel like I'm much more leaning towards the supernatural explanation. Um, and I think there are a few like hints, little hints along the way, which feel more like they are leading towards the supernatural thing as well, especially at the beginning, like when she first appears and all the stuff about fairy tales and when Jonathan says like, oh, if I kiss her, it'll be like in a fairy story and I can wake her up. Um, and actually maybe he does. I just love it. I just think it's such a good book. And I just, I just, yeah so thoroughly enjoy it and i love the way it looks at family and i love the way it looks at parenthood um and i love the way it looks at like society and community all these different characters coming together i love the way all the different plot lines weave together um i love the storytelling vibe of it i love the little hints of magic and non-magic um and the way that all of these people are drawn to this child it's just yeah it's so powerful and it's so excellent and it's so good and that's all I want to say. So thank you very much for watching this video. And um, if you took part in the read along, I hope you really enjoyed it. Um, and I hope that you fell in love with Once Upon a River as much as I did and have done again. So um, reading it this time. And yeah, that's all. Thank you very much for watching. Please do let me know all of your thoughts down in the comments. I'd love to know your experience reading Once Upon a River. And that's it for now. Thanks very much for watching. And I'll be back very soon with another bookish video. Mm -hmm.